The event saw a good number of participants ready to burn off the extra calories consumed over Christmas, including Minister Neil Costa, who seemed very enthusiastic about taking part. I do, I do run. Uh, I think I, I do run maybe twice a week. I, I was challenged to add an additional run now on Sundays, but I thought that instead of a Sunday, I'll do it today. But I thought it was, you know, for a very good cause, GBC Open Day. So I thought I'd take part. As soon as I was told last night, I thought I, I should take part. Well, it really, it's been going on for a very long time, for, from around the, the 1970s. Um, it started, it wasn't a, a, an annual event at the very beginning, no? there used to be uh, every couple of years, and then it very quickly gained in popularity. And it's always been the, the sort of event that people want to take part in after the excesses of the Christmas period, you know, too much uh, food on a Christmas lunch or Christmas day, and they want to sort of uh, sweat it out on the, the following day. So it's always been popular for that. It is a fun run and it is very much uh, uh, a multi uh, um, event, it's one where everybody can take part regardless of their standard uh, and yes it's not a serious race at all. Um, we're here for family just to say happy Christmas to my granny and granddad and um, to run this race as well and the polar bear swim afterwards is going to be good. It's the uh, nth time that I take part in this event and N is a number larger than 20 so um, I've been taking uh, part in these events for a, for a good number of years now yeah. It's very enjoyable, comes at the right time of the year as well. Is this the only one you do, or do you just chalk no, onto a polar bear straight away? No, afternoon? it's uh, it's the only one I do of its kind, you know, and uh, it's a fun run, so there's no pressure, and I just come down, and uh, there's no particular training I do for it. I uh, just turn up on the day and uh, and run, and make the best of it. The first male and female participants to cross the finish line saw their names engraved on the David Grant Image Graphics Shield, and they were able to take home a mini replica of the shield too. Later, over a thousand swimmers participated in the Catalan Bay Polar Bear Swim. The occasion is used by charities and individuals to raise funds. The Coletta Hotel rewarded the brave swimmers with well-earned mince pies and brandy. Well, we're joining a friend of ours who throughout the year has been uh, fundraising for the Cancer Centre. And I mean, and he's collected quite an amount. So I mean, we said even if it's thunderstorms, we had to go in to, to support him. It's the third time we're doing it. And it's a great course and the people working up there are just incredible. If you, we've met the staff and they're out of this world. So we're doing it for them and the great job they're doing. It's the first time I've really been able to because I've been working all the time and the first time I'm off, so I decided to come and do it. It's uh, a good course you anyway. Can do I do it every year and I love it. I love it. I do a thing as well. It's your first time. Do you know how cold it's going to be? My first time. Never mind. <laughs> I've never been because I've always been working. No, we put a bit in the water and it's actually quite cold. So just run in and get in, get her. Yay! Some of my colleagues mentioned it and they thought it sounded crazy enough for me to do. <laughs> to raise money for charity and do something fun. And yeah, just to have fun. Like, it's the first time I've done it, but it's for fun. We've taken it on as the Ivanhoe Charity because we've been collecting funds for a party that we organised up in the, in the prison for the children of the inmates. And this money has, is going to go towards, towards the presents that we bought for the, for the kids and for the party that we laid on for them. Well, it's not traditional for the law enforcement torture to participate in the polar bear swim to raise awareness and funds for the torture and Special Olympics. Other venues around Gibraltar were also used for the traditional swim. There was a good turnout too at Camp Bay for the Gas's annual event in support of the Royal Marsden Hospital.